Hi, it's Christopher Grubb. We're in the Zuo showroom at World Market in Las Vegas. One thing that's so fun to do when I come to market is run into friends and get to share time with them on House Tipster. And here's one. This is Barry Livingstone. Nice to be here. Talk to us about your career because to say illustrious and fabulous <laughs> aren't, aren't big enough words for me. So. Well, no, I like to remain humble, but um, I started off in Miami. I went to the Art Institute at Fort Lauderdale. So that was always my passion from the beginning. I knew right. I wanted to do it. And then I had a big furniture showroom in South Beach, uh, which was a while, the South Beach Design Group. And right. then um, came off to Los Angeles. And then after that, went to Dubai and Malaysia. And now I'm back living in Malibu. You also are involved with real estate as part of your business. And that's yeah. an interesting dynamic, so different than people I know. Talk more about that. Real for... estate was the nat the, it was like the natural progression of where I was supposed to be because I've always been either preparing a home to move in or when someone buys a home, preparing it for them to live in. So right. I've always been, I've always thought of myself as more, you know, getting property ready for people. Right. Uh, so then I realized a friend of mine asked me after designing the house if I could list it as well, because they said, well, no one can sell it better. So I realized during the first few months of selling real estate that realtors really don't, there's so much that goes on with the, the business of real estate that it's very difficult to, to have a grasp of the interior. And I'm walking through these $4 million houses that have got, you know, the, the there's light fixtures that are rusty and there's like all the door handles don't match. And it's like, I'm looking at that while they're like, oh, you know, come and look at this. Right. So uh, I knew that I was onto something different right. and I actually had to write a book to, to actually explain myself. Well, and so what are some tips in your book? Because it's house tipster. Yeah, I know, I thought that was interesting. the people that watch us or, you know, they want experts and what's the takeaway and some ideas they can um, put into their lives. So what do you share in your book? Well, the tips really were, things that I take for granted, and I think that a lot of interior designers we take for granted. Yeah. Like, uh, and then there's also pet peeves, like I don't like grout. Like grout to me, and especially when you walk into a place and there's dark grout lines, it, it people don't realize that all of a sudden you've got this geometric thing on the floor which you can't escape. And right. they're talking about, oh, can we recover the sofa? And what about the light fixture? I'm like, well, the floor is horrible. So- Because um, it's your canvas. Too, yeah, everything, your sits, yeah, everything sits on the floor. Yeah. So I. I the tips for me are also paint. People don't realize what flat paint is and what washable and what, you know, well, you know all these things. Right, so right. I kind of broke it down to the general areas, which include even the sides of the house. People don't realize that when, if you're buying a property, you want to walk around the entire property. The more you can show of the property, even if it's on a 7,000 square foot lot or a small zero lot line, if it's beautiful and clean all the way around, it's gonna look like it's gonna sell for top dollar. So yeah. those are the kind of th tips that I give. Okay, so in real estate, in interior design, an author, TV? A little yeah, so TV, we've got some TV I hear. coming up. Yeah, the TV is about to come out. Probably April or May will be more television. Killing me, he won't tell me what it's I about. I can't. I'm Killing under NDA. You know, it's I LA. Know. We're under NDA. I know, so it's all NDA. We can't say anything zip zip. I know, <laughs> it's all NDA. End product. Well, and product, yeah, product is definitely close to my heart because I, I, I'm very proud about what I do and for someone to have a Barry Livingstone piece is just, would be like my favorite thing, no matter what, even if it would be a coaster. Like, Do you have yeah. something you're in development right now? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm working with acrylic, with Lucite, with, uh, Fun. that's what I'm working with. I've yeah. seen a lot of that too, but in a new way that, that didn't feel so sterile and kind of, it, it has a chic quality, which for a long time I just felt like it was. Yeah, no, I mean, and now what they can do is they're doing all these, uh, they're, they're coloring things. You can take paper and you can have your own print put yeah. on it and it's all inside the acrylic, which I don't know, I'm, I'm just very attracted to because it has depth and dimension, you know? When it's art, I mean, you're creating It is, a piece it's very art. artistic. So yeah, so the CG collection is vanities because it's the same thing for me that it's so flattering to have done a custom piece of furniture and then somebody wants to buy it and put it in their house. Of course, of you course, because it's your name on it and yeah. it feels, makes you feel good. Yeah, so thank you so much for taking thank time you, to Christopher. see me. Thank you, Christopher, it's always good to see you All and right. it's always good to be here.